Many of them were assigned to go get waitresses and caddies and all of this on tips. They have a policy. They had a policy that they were really going to go after you and were really harassing people horribly. And then all of a sudden, for politics, she says, you know, she comes out with, with what I said, which I think is terrible. And I think it's also hitting them very hard. And these people are fake. Now they're also saying they did a good job at the border. We had the worst numbers in the history of the world, not of our country. There's never been a country in history that has had a catastrophe like this. We've had, I believe, and I think you believe this too, you know, you hear 12 yeah. million, 13. I believe it's over 20 million people came into our country, many yeah. coming from jails, from prisons, 40, from, from uh, mental institutions, or Easy. a bigger version of that is yeah. insane asylums. And many are terrorists. And I'll tell you what, they're, they're coming not just from South America, they're coming from Africa, they're coming from all over the world, they're coming from Asia, yeah. they're coming from the Middle East, they're coming from countries that are uh, stupidly and horribly bombing Israel October 7th. They're coming from all over the world. And, and you know, you look at, it's so sad October 7th, because it should have never happened. Yeah. It's so sad sure. when you look at Ukraine, it should have never happened. We have a defective yeah. government, these are defective people, and they're not people that should be running it. But what you see at the best is the border. Because What else do we need to talk about? He hit on inflation. He hit on the immigration crisis, which is effing nuts for Americans. I've talked about it before. Immigration is good if it's done legally, but when you do it in the way you're doing it, they don't respect the they don't respect current Americans. That even includes let me let me just give it to you, Africans. If you're an African that has been in America over one generation, those Africans coming over don't respect you. They don't consider you African. Okay. These groups are coming in, uh, you know, demanding things when you haven't even got the rights yourself. It's a travesty, especially in an inflated economy. Uh, it, 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 it's something that doesn't make any sense when done illegally. It makes no sense. Trump hit on that last night. Let's continue to listen a you little had, bit. You have millions of people coming in a month and then she gets up and she tries to pretend like it's 30 to 40 million. I even think Donald's wrong everywhere now i will say i'll be honest i don't see too many africans where i'm at <laughs> okay but i believe new york is the epicenter of this so donald has a keen eye on that i believe new york new york is like african sweetheart okay i don't think there's that many i think no offense when they see that black face they all oh, you turn around <laughs> i'm sorry but latin america can blend in a little bit better Right, Middle East can blend in a little bit better. China, Asian can blend them. You know, they, they they go in their communities and they have the support there sometimes. Right. My my visuals tell me those are the largest groups coming in by far. If I were to eyeball it, and you can eyeball it, I would say ten percent are African. I would say probably. Uh, 25% Asian, Middle East. Okay. Maybe, you know, I don't want to go 30. And the rest, 65% Spanish speaking of some kind, at least. And the Spanish people know that as well. They can see it in their communities. They're getting hit, guys. Land communities, I'll say it. I'm in the Tampa St. Pete region. I go to Home Depot quite a bit for business get stuff. Let me tell you. I had a Cuban gentleman tell me that in his neighborhood, they're starting to shoot stuff up. The first people you attack is your own. You see these people? <laughs> you think they go attack the white and black guy? They don't know that group. They know you speak Spanish and they speak Spanish. They're coming for you first. He said, they're starting to shoot up my, my block. I said, what? Because I don't hear the news. I don't see it. He's moving up to Minnesota. I said, bro, do you know... Anyway, I'm not going to go. I said, bro, you know they're going to follow you up to Minnesota, right? You're just going to, this is going to see you in Minnesota, hear you speak Spanish. Like, we're going to go there too. You know, anyway, this is where we're at. Let's continue. She's going to do something. She had three and a half years. And by the way, they have another five months that they can do something, but they yeah. won't do anything. It's all talk. She's yeah. incompetent and he's incompetent. And frankly, I think that she's more incompetent than he is. And that's saying something because he's not too good. Yeah. No, I, I think it's, it is essential to have a secure border. I mean, you're, you're really not a country unless Correct. you have a secure border. Um, and, and secure uh, elections, too. You know, absolutely, secure elections. And uh, so, so it's, it's just essential to have a real border or, or, or we, we can't function as a country. And our, service, you know, our central services are, are being overwhelmed in a lot of cities. Um, and, uh, and I, but I, I, as we were talking about earlier, I think uh, having um, a legal immigration pro process that is uh, smooth and efficient and done well, and I, you know, speaking as someone who is a legal immigrant, um, and I think that, that, I mean, like one way to think of it is who do you want on your team? Um, you know, who, like, who do you want on Team America? And and I think we want to just say, okay, we we, we want to uh, let in people who are going to, you know, be 
great contributors to um, our society and to our economy. Right. And uh, you know, and who do you want on the team? And it's and, and it's not to say that, you know, like in, in my opinion, actually, I'd say like probably most of the illegal immigrants actually are 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 actually good, hardworking people. That's my opinion. Um, but some are not. And uh, and and you just have this sort of adverse selection process where um, you know if if, if somebody's uh, you know if, if somebody's like a you know. Um, has a career in, in theft or robbery. Um, I, I don't understand what's taken them so long to get here um, because we are such a target-rich environment. Um, I mean, you know, why don't, they, why don't more people who have a career in, you know, bad things coming here sooner? Because there goes the technical issues that happen in this interview on X. A lot of people saying it's an X failure. I will say that the war... That we're going to see is not going to be the way you usually uh, think about it. You have a lot of people that just shouldn't be. I think it's a much bigger number than you think. They're a I think it's going to be a technical war, guys. I think the internet is the battleground. Yes. Jamming sites, jamming streaming, killing the views. This is what they do. And by the way, a lot of our hostile neighbors specialize in this and specifically the middle east so eastern europeans are great at this this is in china those three are great at technical failures causing hack, doing acts the best i think let's keep going allowing, again, they're allowing people from their jails and if you were california latinos for president trump okay all right. running one of these countries where right. they're coming from you would have had all of them as an example uh, venezuela their crime is down 72 percent they're taking their drug dealers. They're taking, frankly, their prisoners. They're emptying out their prisons. They're taking uh, their criminals, their murderers, their rapists, and they're they're delivering yeah. them into. The that's what that's what Cat, Cat Castro did. Yeah, well, he did yeah. on a much smaller scale. Yeah. You know, it was a much smaller yeah. scale. But this is a massive scale because this is being done worldwide. But here's what's happening: crime all over the world is down. And wait till you see the numbers <laughs> that we have. You know, these this is migrant crime. This is crime that's, that's going to be. Yeah. And I saw it today in New York where somebody was knifed with a. Uh, raped the girlfriend of a man that stood there watching in New York in one of the shelters and uh, started sure. pulling out the knives and bad things happened today. But this is happening every day. These are rough people. These are people that are in jail for yeah. murder and all sorts of things. And they're releasing them into our country and they're telling them, if you come back, we're going to kill you. We're going to give you the death penalty or kill you. So they don't want to come back. But these are rough people. Yeah. These, are, these are criminals that make our criminals look like nice people. And it's horrible what they're doing. And, and she's in charge of... That's 100% fact. And I'm warning um, a lot of the guys out there on the streets... You guys don't see it because you're in La La Land making money. They will infiltrate y'all blocks. They will. Okay? They will start a war because they'll say, we can make money in this. You know, there some of these countries are the providers of some of the goods that you guys deal with. And they will be in your area trying to take it over. That's the other war. I hate to tell you guys that. But it will be coming soon. Once they get the numbers, they wait. They're not stupid. Once they think they have enough numbers, guys on the street, watch your back. It's going to be hell on high earth here. Because, you know, now she's trying to say she had nothing to do with it. And she's such a liar because she was called the border czar the first day. And it was on the headlines of every newspaper. She's the border czar. And she never even went there. She went to one location, which had nothing to do with where the problem is. You know, she went in and out, right. I guess, because she was getting a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Had nothing to do with the problem. Yeah. But she was the border czar. And you, people yeah, yeah. can't allow them to get away with their disinformation campaign. Now she's trying to say that uh, she wasn't uh, she wasn't really involved. And uh, the whole thing is horrible. She was totally in charge. She could have shut the border down without him. He didn't know what he was doing anyway. So he wouldn't have even known yeah. what happened. You could shut the border down. He yeah. wouldn't even know the difference. But uh, the fact is that she was born as Isn't it crazy? They brought in. I want, uh, you know, Camilla and the Democrats are so stupid. Those guys, you know, I don't want to go there, uh, but I I'll say a little something. Um, there's a wide variety of South Americans that uphold a certain tradition, a certain look and power. Okay, they 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 hold a certain look and a certain demographic and power, and now you put Camilla Harris on there that doesn't identify with any of that. So Camilla's gonna bring these people in, and she's not gonna get their vote. Ain't that crazy? Mexican Amer Mexican American voting for Trump. Sorry, Camilla. Very. You know, very. <laughs> but if you don't have to call yes. her that, 
The fact is, you could just call her. She was in charge of the border, and the border was the worst right. ever. It's, it's simply not working. No, it's I mean, horrible. Whether, whether it's by whether it's by whether it's a question of of intention or competence, either way, we 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 don't have a secure border, and we have people streaming over like it looks like a World World War Z zombie apocalypse at times. And you know, sometimes you you, you, you got to sort of wonder like, is it real or not? So I you know, because you see things, you're like, is it real? I so I went to the border at Eagle Pass, and I saw for myself in Texas, and I was like, okay, it's real. It was, I'm like seeing this in real time. I actually posted the video of, like just live. I Latinos are very, I like reading their comments. I'm sorry, I gotta stop again. This is another Latina, okay? Very, very interesting. Okay. I'm an immigrant, a Latina, independent voter who has watched her home state of California become unrecognizable on so many levels. I pray for all of you all the time, President Trump, and I do believe in God and signs. I will be voting for you, and I'll be voting early for the first time. Although I traditionally take pride in casting my vote in person, the distrust I now have in our system makes it necessary to do things differently. Thank you, Elon, for creating this opportunity for other independent voters like me. In California, as with many states, the mainstream media, main media somehow lost their way long ago. Okay. I'll, 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 uh, I'll thumbs you up. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. I just flew there one day and just to see, hey, is this is uh, this is this made up or real? And I'm, I'm just seeing people stream across the border, and um, and I have to say, you know, at least the people I saw did not look friendly. Um, you know, these, so these yeah, people, people can look at my video and say, yeah. hey, you know, these people, these people look friendly. I don't look super friendly. So these are people that um, Elon would not be the same man if he had to walk across the street and look at these people in the eye. These are rough people. These are really rough people coming across, and I know rough people, and these are people that we don't want in our country. And you know the caravans are coming in, and they're putting and and who's doing this is the heads of the countries, and you would be doing yeah. it. And I'm gonna start slowing this down. Look how many I'm telling you, Camilla doesn't realize that I really think Donald's gonna really sweep this thing. Camilla doesn't realize that even though they are the vast number of immigrants coming in, I just did a crime video and I can show it to you again. It's real. I mean, there's so many crimes going on with the migrants right now, too many. There's a lot. These are just news. That, these are the ones that the news are catching. There's so many locally. It's going to be crazy. Get your, you know, Second Amendment writing is needed. Um, you're not on Telemundo, Camilla. Camilla Harris, you're not on Telemundo. Just a heads up for you. And they think like that. Okay? They really think like that. All right? Remember, she had an issue with Cortez. Remember, uh, Cortez was going at Camilla about AOC. All right, I'm just, I'm giving you a heads up, okay? Just, uh, I'll stay quiet. Go ahead and vote for Trump, Latinos. Let it, let it, let it be known what you like. So would I, and everyone say, oh, what a terrible thing to say. The fact is, it's brilliant for them because they're taking all of their uh, bad people, really bad people. And I hate to say this, the reason the numbers are much bigger than you would think is they're also taking their non-productive people. Now, these aren't people that will kill you. We have enough of them. But these are people that are non-productive. They, they are just non-productive. I mean, for whatever reason. They're not yeah, workers yeah. or they don't want to work or whatever. And these countries are getting rid of non-productive people in the caravans in many cases. And they're also getting rid of their murderers and their drug dealers and the people that are really yeah. brutal people. And they're coming into our country yeah. at levels that have never been seen before. And I saw an ad just before I got on the air. I'm, I'm walking over here. And I saw an ad by this. Kamala saying how she is going to provide border security. Where has she been yeah. for three and a half years? For three and a half years. Yeah, no, that's, we that's, have 20 million people for this. It's a terrible yeah, I think, this, frankly, I, I think this is a fundamental existential issue for the United States. Um, and if we have another four more years of, of open borders, and it's going to be even worse, with another four more years, it's going to be even worse than it's been for the past uh, you know, three and a half years. Uh, I'm not sure we've got a country. You don't have a country, Elon. Elon, if they get in, you will have 50 to 60 million people from all over the world. Not Already here. Donald, you got to call it what it is, brother. It's tougher for, for let's call it what it is, okay? Um most of the the immigration is going to be from latin and central america i know we cannot alienate them because of the votes okay he cannot do that he will not do that he, he needs he he better he shouldn't do that from a from a uh a, 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 a tactical perspective he can't do it. they're too they're too numerous in this in the united states all right um but why why say that so the middle east guys yeah i'm scared because you only need a couple thousand to cause trouble because they have this anti-American, not all of them, but yes, anti-American thought process, and we want to get them. So they're going to come over. That's, I believe that's what, I don't want to say it, I believe China is sending those over as well. And then you got some of those youth in China that just hate China, right? They're watching YouTube and all that. They want a free life, okay? Youth will always, when it's young, young, I, I know what's going on there, right? They're seeing TV and all that. They just want, I want all this shit. I want my own, free, you know, you know the deal, right? So, but China... 
you know, hostile nations are coming in, okay, in smaller groups. Africa's because they have to come through a fucking ship, right? They got to get a ship from Africa all the way to Mexico, and then from Mexico come on up, okay? Then they have to have the money. So there's a lot of African faces there, but I will garner it's less than 10%. But he's going to have to mention it all because he's not going to be able to segment it like that, okay? Because he's gonna lose, he's gonna lose votes, which is smart. And he's trying to get the numbers right. He's just get. If I'm in office, I don't know the numbers. The eye test tells me it's mostly Latin America, right? You look at the crimes on New York Post, and you're seeing mostly Latin American. Uh, and I know Latin American is not a race. I'm just calling it all inclusive guys. I, I can't name every darn country. Central America, Mexico, South America, all inclusive. Okay, that's where most of the crimes coming from. And and it's not that they're it's not that they're bad. Is that there's, there's so many coming in that 10% is a lot. 10% of 50 million, right, is a fucking lot. It's too many coming in, papa. There's nothing you can do. You can have 90% of the people that are good, but if you got 10% of the bad out of 5, 50 million that have come in, it's not no 20 million, 50 million at a minimum, it's going to look bad. Sorry for the guys that have been here and came in legally, but it's just a bad look right now, you know? And I'm going to continue to make America great again. Look at this. Very interesting topic. Um, I'm going to I'm going to close. Listen, South America minute. only. You know, we think of South America. We think of Honduras and El Salvador, Guatemala and Mexico, you know, for the four. But it's not that it's everywhere. They're coming in from yeah, everywhere. Is, and I had to stay in Mexico. Yeah, I think this, is a, this is a super important point. Like people, it's like, well, basically when I went down there, I was like, well, where are people from? It's like, it's, it's like almost no one was from Mexico. No, either. Mexico it's, less, it's just, it's just, less it's just the border. Other. It's just the border with Mexico. But the people coming in, it's, it's, it's Earth, the rest of Earth. <laughs> and, and America is, is only... You know, about four, four or five percent of the population of Earth. It, it would only take a few percent of the rest of Earth to overwhelm everything. We're already so. overwhelmed, Elon. It's, we're yes, overwhelmed. Sir. Yes, sir. You had to see the news tonight about New York. New York, and I love that place. And what they're doing to it is horrible. What they're what they're doing is Mexicano. They're segmenting, and they're going to Mexicans are going to love this because they want to punch down on point blank. They're going to say it's Venezuelans. Okay, yes, yes, yes. The the point of matter for in my, on my end, they all speak Spanish. OK, they, they all it's Spanish speaking countries are coming in and overwhelming. And you're saying, why? Why is that an issue? It's good to learn languages. It's good to have diversity. It definitely is more fun, except when they overwhelm. And I I don't I don't think Trump sees it. Elon may see it. They try to talk intelligently. I'm just going by statistics. I'm not racial in any way. If what's going to happen is we're going to Spanish is going to become the primary language in America. Uh, just like London. Uh, they started to fight too late. Uh, Middle East Indian have taken over. Yes, there's some Africans there. Same deal, man. Under 14, 15% guaranteed. Okay? Guaranteed under... You know what? Let me show you. Because, you know, the blacks... You actually don't even see them in... <laughs> London demographic. You actually don't see them in none of, none of, these, none of these... But they're usually doing taxi, right? Um, let's be honest, taxi and they become truck drivers, London demographic, um, black countries, um, generally aren't as violent until that hip hop shit takes over and they copy that. Let me just get there. You think Wikipedia is accurate? I mean, probably not, but let's go ahead and see what it is, what it is. I think it's, this is not gonna, uh, 61. There was a, there was a map. Does it does it go all the way to now? Uh, all right, check this out. So in seventy one is eighty seven percent, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Two thousand one is fifty nine percent. Two thousand eleven forty four percent. Watch this. Two thousand twenty one, it became thirty six percent. That's just twenty one, and the and the big crisis, immigration crisis, didn't happen yet. They're gone. I told you this. I said it. All right. They looked at me funny. I saw it when I go to the gyms, when I go to stores. You can see it. Asian for sure. Yeah, 20%, if not more. That includes Hindi. Sorry, Indian. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You know it. You know that you know the game, right? It is what it is, right? Pakistani, Bangladesh, blacks. Where is it at, baby? Dirt under 50, and it's been stagnant. I told you, 13%, always under 15, okay? All right? Remember, 90% of black crime is against blacks. 
Okay. Total. The total is a gray line. 13.5%. No offense. When you see the black face, you're running away from it. Let's just call, let's call it. Even, even, even black people are afraid of black people. Let's be honest. All right, sometimes. So, so let, they'll be the first ones to be gone, right? You focus on the, But then you got to figure out what's next. This is huge. 20% Asian. Is Middle Eastern here at all? Oh, they don't, they don't even capture it. Look, they put Arabic 6. I doubt that. I, I, I doubt 6.3 6 Arab. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. All right? Anyhow, that's what it is. You want to go to Toronto real quick? Let, let's do that before I let y'all go. I love stats, guys. So this is just this is just me looking at it. All right? Toronto, Toronto. All right? You want to check that out? All right? Guys, you, you, you can't. You can't push this over to any other race because they're going to see it, guys. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Texas, they're going to see it. You're going to show the African face. And when they get to San Antonio, you're going to say, where's the Africans? They're not there. It's not the Africans. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. you when, they, when they look, they're going to say, it's not African, man. I mean, let's see. Do they, are they going to show it? Let's see. Population, yeah. Ethnic diversity. There you go. Yep, that's about right. That's 2021. And you can see whites are now, when you combine all the other groups, they are now the minority. That means, guys, white folks of European descent, you can't even win a war over there. You'll implode from within. You will implode from within. Look at the, look at the variety there. Let me let me say it again, because everyone likes to talk about blacks. Where's the blacks at? Less than 15%. They will never let that go that high. Never. They'll kick them all out. All right. Asian 14% is probably higher. Remember, this is this is just me going off Wikipedia. Okay. I would say, let me tell you where it is a big deal, where you're gonna see a lot of blacks. Let's go to New York City. This is that's where that's where Donald is, right? Donald's probably gonna see Donald's gonna see a lot of Africans there, no doubt about it. New York City demographics. Let's see if we got some. Let's see if we got some here, okay? Let's go there. Demographics in New York City. All uh, right, let's see. For sure, it's gonna be a lot of blacks here. This is like the epicenter of where they come, cause that's where they have the most people. You think it goes? Let's see what they got here. Yeah, there you go. That's that okay. So, so you see where he's coming from? He's from New York. So 23% black. It is a black stronghold. No problem. Tri-state area is a black stronghold. By far. All right. Atlanta, New York City, DC, Philly, uh, uh, uh Detroit, um, Cleveland, right? Those are black strongholds. But from the scope of the overall number, okay. From the overall, you can see Latinos definitely dominate. They're higher than that, by the way. Look at the whites. Minority again. I'm sorry, guys. I got to do this for you. I, I love stats, guys. This is why I'm doing it. It's not racial. I just love statistics. Let's go to Dallas real quick, okay? You want to try? Oh, let's do Let's do, uh, Let's do. do where Elon, uh, uh, you want to do uh, Austin? Because Austin, they, I, think, I think Dallas has a good black population there. I'm just showing you to, to even... You, you talk about them all, but it's mostly an Asian, uh, what do you call it, thing? Asian, Hispanic thing that's happening down there, man. It is, let's see demographics. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, they got it by race? No, 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 no. All right, let's see here. All right, no, no, no. Or race, there we go. All right, let's see. The, the, the Austin, should, well, they, it's already too late. It's gone. Look at it, done. You know, I don't got to look at anything more. Look at it. All right. White, 47%. Hispanic, this is not counting the immigrants. Asian, 8.4. Where's black at? Guys, I'm telling you, blacks are always under 14%. But you focus in on them so heavy. That's, I, I think it's a mistake. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's a mistake. Not that they don't do any crime. I think you, you, if you focus too much in on that, that's how the others sneak in. Now it's, now it's too late. Now it's too late. Focus too much on that. 32% Hispanic, 8.4% Asian, which is higher than the black population. That is in Texas, Austin. That's where Elon is. Well, Austin has a chance, right? Except that, looks at, look at the Texas demographic now, okay? Mexicano, I'm sorry, man. I mean, it is what it is. They're saying, well, it's not Mexicans. It, well, you know, because 
I I love you guys, but you know, you don't, it don't need to be Mexican. You already been coming in for the last 10, 15 years. You already the, 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 you're already there. So you don't have to come in anymore. Let's see here. Let's go. Is is blacks the second highest? Okay. This is this Texas. All right. Let's check it out. Population. What I tell you about blacks? Thirty nine whites were already gone way back then. Twenty. This is twenty twenty. Hispanics. Oh lord. Wow. Thirty nine percent. They were gone in twenty twenty. 2020, they were already gone. Whites are 39%. Blacks, uh, what I tell you, under 15% always. Here goes the inside. Here goes the jokes. Oh, but they do 90% of the crop. Sir, it's the it's the numbers, right? 90% against against blacks. It's black on black. Just look at the stats, man. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. 90% is black on black. Check this out. I love this shit, guys. I'm sorry. I was just, it's just an infatuation with the stats. Hispanic, 39%. All right, that's 2020. That that doesn't include now. Now it's like 45 percent Spanish and whites continue to go down. Blacks are actually dwindling. I believe the population are going down. All right, this is the same. New York is really the only one of the strongest black uh, strongholds. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a hundred thousand. Maybe Houston and Dallas, but even Houston. Let's go Houston demographics. Okay, let's just hit that. I'm sorry, guys. I just, you know, I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going too far. I think Houston's probably black. I think that they, they talk, a lot of black people talk about Houston. There's certain certain areas that are, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it be mostly, uh, mostly Hispanic, you know? And, uh... All right, let's see, let's see the let's see the breakup. They don't got a breakup. Okay, where, where's the where's the demographic? Well, figures they don't have it. All right. Uh, census. Let's look at let's look at here. There we go. That's a higher uh, black population, but they're gone already too. Whites. All right, let's look at this real quick. This is nicer too. This is nicer, nicer, nicer feedback. Uh, let's just give me give me some. Oh, Should have been at the top. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Let's just read it. Whites 23%. Okay, there we go. There goes a black city. Uh 23% are wh white. Blacks are twenty two percent. White Hispanic seventeen percent. Other Hispanic look, <laughs> look at that, that's that's how the Hispanic gets you. Uh, look how many Hispanics they got. White Hispanic seventeen. Other Hispanic thirteen fourteen percent, and two Hispanic twelve point six. So it's majority Spanish. Okay, it's majority Spanish guys. See where I'm going? And they separated, but. It's majority Spanish, guys. You got twelve percent. You got you got twelve percent. And there's, I mean, it, you're gonna say some people are gonna say, "What's wrong with that?" I'm just telling you the fabric. <sighs> the fabric of the nation changes. Twenty six percent and then seventeen percent is almost forty three percent Hispanic. The blacks and whites could, could make love to each other and wouldn't be able to keep up. And that's in a black stronghold. The blacks and whites can make love to each other, and they still couldn't keep up to what the Hispanic, the growth of the Hispanics. And this is this is labeled here, right? This is this are legal. All right, you want to do one more city? You want to do Los Angeles? You want to see Los Angeles? The, the crime I show? Yes, I'm gonna leave it at this. Golly, okay. And and don't waste time with this. Keep doing your thing, but it has to be in the back of your mind. It takes a long time for it to fully take effect, but. Um, where's the demographics? Let's let's just see if they get if they got it here. Let's see if they got a by population by race. Let's let's see. Ah man, this that sucks. Let's go to the other one. What, what's the other site? Yeah, the demographics, racial demographics. There was what was that other site that looked good? Yeah, data. Okay, let's go here. All right, let's just hit this real quick. All right. Los Angeles gone. Los Angeles gone. 
All right. Whites, 28 percent. Hispanic, 24 percent. White Hispanic. <laughs> I told you. The Hispanics are 30, uh, 37 percent of the population. Whites, 28 percent. Asian, 11 percent. Two Hispanics, 9.55 percent. You see how they separate themselves? It's, it's funny, right? Because they say, well, you know, I'm white. One's from Spain and all that. And we got Spain origin, so we're Spain. They, they all do that stuff. It's funny. But whatever. You all speak Spanish, right? All right, 37%, 37% plus 10%. You have 47% Spanish in Los Angeles. That's what I saw in my eye test. When I went there, I said, man, we're surrounded. These blacks are not even, uh, not even a number. I don't know how those gangs out there are surviving. No wonder they're doing crime. They definitely ain't going to get no jobs. <laughs> you better get out of Dodge, but still there's some black leaders in there. Ain't that crazy? Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. And here we go. Like what I tell you, Alex Padilla is a Democratic Party leader. Do you see what happens now? Here you go. They go into the they go into the to the you know, they start to build up into the to, to the electoral process because they have enough of a population to vote somebody that looks like them in, which they're supposed to do. That's what you do. You you do what's in your best interest. So who do you blame? Sorry, Camilla Harris, Democrats, this is your deal. You own it. You allow them to do this, they'll do it. We talking media, signing off. I'm out. Peace.